Oh, look at that little slot. That's, oh yeah. We've well, got ports and slots and Mercy S video. Oh, go for that. N64. Oh, that Super Nintendo port they used. Oh, but the NES. You're gonna have a hot slot for sure. Ooh, spicy! You little minx! Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! John, I thought you might want a little back scratch. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, John, 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 what are these magnificent ports you have here? Oh, we've got a, an NES that's got both RF out, the worst, and HDMI. HDMI? Oh, I think that's worth a little scratch. We're hard for games and hard for scratches. Ooh, mercy me. John, John, tell us what you've got for us today. Okay, we've got an NES, but not one of these uh -uh. big brick boxes. <laughs> no, we have got a top loader Ooh. that has been HDMI out modded. Yes, very nice. And not just HDMI video out, like an RGB out. It's video and audio, and it's got its own little like in menu. Mm -hmm. You can overclock it. You can change like the scaling mm -hmm. and all sorts of stuff. Smooth out those pixels. Oh, mercy. Ooh, no pixels. It no is, pixels. It is crazy. And we got this on loan from Retro Taku Video Games. Dan, the owner, gave us the hookup. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we, and we been hooked hooking up. up with Dan. <laughs> oh mercy. <laughs> so that said, these bad boys are available at GameTech.us. Uh, again, it's on borrow, but we're going to be giving it an unbiased review. You can purchase we'll a. <laughs> we'll try. Uh, you can purchase a top loader pre-modded, or you can get uh, all the equipment to mod it yourself for either a top loader, a front loader, or an AV Famicom unit. Just a little note, everybody. Once we started recording our voiceovers, it started raining pretty hard. So the audio during the segment's gonna be a little bit wonky. We tried to wait, but it was just pretty persistent. So we do apologize for the audio. And I'd like to take a minute to just apologize for John. That guy is just awful. He's awful. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna claw his ass to death. Yeah, oh, we'll give him I a good agree. scratching. Good scratching on his eyeball. Mm. So we booted this thing up. What's the first impressions regarding how it looks? This is with no effects on whatsoever. Looks a lot like Super Mario Brothers. I'm pretty sure I played this game before. It looks vaguely familiar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's so good quality that you could actually tell the game that you're playing, which is really nice. You know, it is very crisp when you look at it. It does look really good. So we're scrolling through some different games here, and honestly, everything looks really solid. Now, the, the question is, is that, John, you've played a Retron 5. Does it look better than a Retron 5, do you think? I would say it is a higher resolution, so there's just a touch of that 720 muddiness that's gone. Okay. Um, but, I mean, for most people, unless you're playing on like a really big screen, uh, or like a, a 4K display or something, you're really not gonna notice it too much. Sure. It's not like you're gonna endlessly have that nagging feeling of, oh, it's only 720. <laughs> like, no, it's, see, this, this does look crisper and it's nice and smooth. We are gonna have occasional little flickers on the screen here yeah, and there, that's though. Yeah, about it, yeah. But, I mean, it works a lot better than I was honestly expecting when you described um, it. And to reiterate, the Retron 5 is 720, the High def NES is 1080, full yes. 1080, but you can actually select different resolutions. It goes yes. up to 1080, but you can choose 720 if you want. You can also. Why would you ever want that, Tony? Because you're a bad frigging person, that's why. Or your monitor only supports 1080i. Whoa. In which ah. case, I have to say, 2006 called, they want their TV back. Damn, you sassy, son. All the games that we're playing, they look really solid, they look good. Let's start messing around with some settings. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, so if you press select and down, you pull up Ooh. a menu, a BIOS, actually. So you could choose different resolutions for what we were saying. Horizontal stretch, scaling, scan lines, interpolation, palette, cropping, all sorts of stuff. Let's rock some scaling. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's tip those scales. So you can Ooh. see it's uh, kind of smoothing pixels into each other uh -huh. to try and create a uh, 
more modern cartoony appearance. Uh huh. Feel like I'm playing a Flash cartoon here. Yeah, you kind of yeah. are. Yeah, it yeah. does kind of look a bit like a Flash. It cartoon. does look odd, doesn't it? It is kind of cool though, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. It is a remarkable difference and an immediately obvious difference. It looks. I remember uh, using this uh, quite a bit on the ZSNES to. Uh, Smooth out some of those rougher games. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I mean, uh, this... like what games are you talking about, John? I thought you liked it rough. <laughs> One of the other great things about this is that if you are rocking this, you're like, you know, I need, I need me some HD Mario. I need me some I HD. I need Contra. it so bad. I need me some HD little Samson. But I want to feel nostalgic and ruin the picture with some scan lines. <laughs> you can, which is great. It's great. It really gives us lots of good options here. It really feels like you're sitting in your parents' basement playing your old NES on a real piece of shit TV. It has an x-ray mode. That's pretty neat. I wouldn't recommend playing with it for a long time, but it's... It's pretty neat. I like to call it Game Boy mode. It's like a giant Game Boy. Like a giant like a, game, like a Super Game Boy. Like a handheld system so big, you could never ever hold it in your hand. So we're gonna check out some legendary wings here, guys, and we're legendary playing. Legendary wings. We're legendary wings. We're playing. You can see there's some pretty serious slowdown. Some pretty serious slowdown. Oh it's, yeah. It's really cramping my style. So we're gonna actually overclock the system. Yeah. Tony, be careful. Oh, no. No, I'm gonna throw caution to the wind. 2.5 megahertz, you madman! Oh my god! And there's basically no slowdown now. Which makes the game much harder. It does make it much so harder. So if you remember 8-bit hard, overclock this thing, and it will be 8-bit so hard you might want to kill yourself. I mean, That's we're true. hard for games, but... I'm just not used to being this hard. We're hard for games, but this is ridiculous. Freeapism. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Now we're gonna do what nobody thought was even possible. Okay? No one dared to dream of. We're gonna play some Batman, and we're gonna turn everything on. Uh, no, we're, Tony, Tony. Well, surely yes. you don't mean everything. I mean everything. But Tony, aren't you gonna have to overclock the system for that? Oh God. I will have to overclock the system. Be careful, Tony. For the love of God, be careful. As you can see, it's a horrible fucking mess. <laughs> yeah. Here's some slow motion footage. Oh, you know? oh God, why? No, no, John, why? So just from a technical perspective, John, what did you think? Because it's not emulation, it's the real hardware. What did you think in terms of what it could do? Well, it's a solid package. It looked great. No lag. An incredible package, if you know what I mean. Mm. Everything worked great until, you know, it, it, once we turned everything on at the same time and overclocked it, then everything turned into a nightmarish hellscape. <laughs> yeah. but other than that, it worked perfectly. Other than that, it was perfectly fine. Uh, I think if you're going to want perfection, with the NES in terms of HD output and tons of options, I think this is the way to go. Now let's talk a little bit about value because you can get the components to mod this for, depending on the options, between 120 and 140. Or you can buy one for $500. Wait, what? $500. It's 500 Wait, for the full thing? 500 Wait, what? for- Yes. Really? Yes. Okay, that's um... $500 is a lot of money. I would say that if you are interested in HD NES games, do a Retron 5. If you are interested in original hardware, because maybe you're doing like reviews and you want to be able to say that you're shooting it on original hardware, yeah. uh, maybe you are the Porsche owner of Mm -hmm. NES systems, you want the performance, you have the money anyways. You need that package, you need that delivery. So, if you are one of those people, I would say, go for it if you have the money. Everybody else can get HD NES emulation pretty easily and for much cheaper, and I would say about 90 for 95% of people 
are not going to notice the difference. I would say 96%. Yeah. Ooh, how dare you challenge me, sir? High five. Oh, oh horrible oh. pain. Horrible pain. Serious uh, But technically, it's excellent. I think if they yeah. lowered the price point, I think it would be a decent deal. Or if you just absolutely need that perfection, I think you could potentially go for it. Some people but have to have the perfection, Tony. If you need the perfection, Some go for it. It does very like well. Do. Yeah, I don't settle. They might not sell in high volume, but I think plenty of people will buy. Yeah. So if you are interested in getting one of these or just getting maybe some more information, you can check out the description below. There's some Zeldas down there. If mm, you are a lot of Zeldas. Check, if you're interested in maybe checking it out in person and you're in the Metro Detroit area, uh, Retro Taku Video Games has one. They're in Madison Nights. I'm also going to put info in the description below and some Zeldas down there if you want to click. Check it out click in Madison. Zeldas. No, no, no. There aren't many checks in, in, in Detroit. I mean, there's there's many other groups of people, but I don't think we have a whole bunch of checks. Yeah, John, we're fed up with your bullshit. Yeah, we're really are. Scratch, 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 scratch him! Scratch him! Scratch him! <laughs> If you really like this, you want to see more of it, the best way to encourage us to do so is to click that share button. It really screws with YouTube's oppressive algorithm and helps grow our channel when you press it. So go ahead and press that share button and really tell YouTube who's boss. It's you, the viewers are boss.